Lions, tigers, gorillas, elephants, hippos are among some of the more popular animals on the planet. But why is this the case when there are literally thousands of crazier and more interesting looking animals out there? Today, I will share with you 20 of the strangest and most unique animals I could find. Some of them are hard to believe even exist. First up, we have the Saiga antelope, which literally looks like a creature straight out of Star Wars. Their enlarged nostrils help them filter and warm the cold air in the winter and cool it in the summer. The Saiga antelope is considered a living fossil, with a lineage dating back tens of thousands of years. Another hooved animal with a unique appearance is the tufted deer. For some incomprehensible reason, they decided to completely ignore its glaring fangs when they named it. Instead, they named it after its prominent tuft of black hair on its forehead, which makes absolutely no sense. It is found in mountainous and forested regions around China and Myanmar. They are primarily active at night, where they need to avoid predators like tigers and leopards. Now we are moving on to something completely different. Meet the maned wolf, which looks AI-generated no matter the angle, and is quite literally built differently. Despite looking like a fox and being named the maned wolf, it's neither. It's actually the largest canid species in South America, and belongs to a unique evolutionary branch within the canidae family. The maned wolf's long legs are not only for looking down on its peers, but are believed to help it see over tall grasses in its grassland habitat and reach fruits from low branches. The next animal is basically a mix between the happy cappy, a rabbit, and a deer. This is the Patagonian Mara. They are actually large, herbivorous rodents. They are also highly social animals and often live in large groups that can consist of up to 20 individuals, making them one of the few rodents that exhibit such strong social behavior. What's kind of nice about them is that they typically form monogamous pairs. These pairs engage in mutual grooming and often stay together for life, contributing to the strong social bonds within the group. The fifth animal on our list is the pink fairy armadillo, which pretty much just looks like a character from Pokemon. They are actually one of the smallest armadillo species, measuring about 5.5 inches or 14 centimeters in length. It has a unique pale pink shell, composed of small, flexible plates that are covered in soft, fine hairs. This pink coloration helps it blend in with the sandy soils of central Argentina. They are strictly nocturnal feeders, primarily consuming insects, particularly ants and termites. Another creature named after something completely different is the Yeti crab. They are, of course, named after the mythical Himalayan creature, the Yeti, because of their distinctive appearance. They have long, white and hairy pincers that resemble fur or bristles, which are quite unusual for crustaceans. Coming up, we have our first bird on the list, the hornbills. There are actually several species of hornbill birds, and all of them look like true dinosaurs. They are known for their large, curved bills, which are usually topped with casks. These casks vary in shape and size among different species and can be used for a variety of purposes, including amplifying calls and defense. Just like the happy cappy rabbit hybrid thing from earlier, they are also known for their monogamous behavior, where they form long-lasting bonds, sometimes lasting for life. This next creature is one long-necked Jiminy Cricket. It's the Gerinuk, which is a unique and fascinating antelope species native to East Africa. Their most unique feature is their elongated neck, which allows them to reach higher branches and foliage for feeding. Their unnatural appearance may be disturbing, but it is really just another grass-eating antelope with an identity crisis that gets preyed upon by lions and cheetahs daily. Now let's move on to the Chinese giant salamander, which is way bigger than you think. It's actually the largest salamander species in the world, with a length of 6 feet or 1.8 meters. That's probably longer than some of you watching right now. It can also weigh around 130 pounds or 60 kilograms. Just like some turtles and tortoises, these salamanders have an exceptionally long lifespan with some individuals living for more than 80 years in captivity. We are now halfway through my list, so please do like the video if you've enjoyed it so far. Now, the 10th animal on the list I honestly thought to be some sort of insect or crustacean, judging from its weird-looking claws in this photo, but it's actually a marsupial mole, although more closely related to actual moles than marsupials. They have non-functional eyes covered by skin and fur as they spend their lives underground and do not rely on vision. Very little is actually known about these fuzzy little creatures, as sightings of them are exceptionally rare, considering their elusive nature and the fact that they live most of their lives underground. Next up, we have an animal that is basically a way smaller version of the musk deer we discussed earlier. Meet the chevrotain, also known as the mouse deer. And just like the musk deer, it also has elongated upper canines that can resemble fangs. 
There are several species, but the smallest one called the lesser mouse deer is extremely small, only standing at around 25 centimeters at the shoulder and weighing around two kilograms or 4.4 pounds. These tiny deer-like mammals are found in various habitats across Africa, South Asia, and Southeast Asia. Now let's switch gears towards something completely different. Meet the red-lipped batfish, which always looks ready for a night out. Unlike many other fish, the red-lipped batfish is not a strong swimmer. It actually uses its modified pectoral fins to basically walk on the ocean floor rather than swim. These peculiar looking fish are perfectly adapted for a bottom dwelling lifestyle. Here we have another animal with a big identity crisis, the okapi, which looks like a zebra and giraffe hybrid. They live in the dense rainforests of central and northeastern Africa. Despite their zebra-like stripes, okapis are indeed more closely related to giraffes than zebras. The lowland streaked tenrek is another creature that looks like a real-life Pokemon. They have a striking appearance, with a body covered in sharp yellowish spines or quills. They resemble hedgehogs in terms of their spiny exterior, but they are not closely related. They are also only found on Madagascar and nowhere else in the world. Next, we have another hooved animal, which is a species of wild goat called Mark Hoar. They have a stocky build with a reddish-brown to greyish coat, and both males and females have twisted horns that can grow to impressive lengths. They straight up look like a sacred animal out of the Lord of the Rings universe. Now, let's move over to the Amazon River, where we can meet the pink dolphin. This unique and fascinating species of freshwater dolphins have a pinkish color due to the blood vessels near the surface of their skin. This pink coloring is more pronounced in young dolphins and fades as they age. Other than their looks, they are pretty much the same as normal dolphins. This blob is the Indian purple frog. And no, it did not eat too much dessert, nor is it just big boned. These frogs are considered living fossils due to their ancient lineage. They belong to a family of frogs that has evolved very little over millions of years, and they are perfectly adapted for a life underground. The bald wakari is the only primate on the list, and it's truly a disturbing looking creature with its strange bald red shiny head. Now the red bald head is not just because they took too much creatine. The intensity of redness can actually change in response to emotions and social interactions. For example, when a bald wakari is excited or agitated, its facial skin may become even redder, just like in cartoons. Second to last, we have the Honduran white bat, which is a rather cute looking thing with white fur that sets them apart from other bat species. One of the most remarkable features of these bats is their habit of constructing leaf tents for shelter. They use their sharp teeth to cut the midribs of large heliconia or banana leaves, causing them to fold and create a protective roost. Lastly, you need to see the Tibetan fox. This fox literally looks like it's taxidermied, or a badly AI-generated picture. There's just something very off about how they look. But I can assure you, they are very real indeed. These foxes are actually uniquely adapted to the harsh, high-altitude regions of the Tibetan Plateau. If you enjoyed the video, then please do leave a like and watch some of my other videos on screen, and I'll see you in the next one.